that's not dirt or mud. It's actually a group of living fire ants. And they're in this shape because the colony has just been moved into the jaw of water, simulating a natural flood. To see the real danger of fire ants, we move to the end room to see some actual demonstration. Each of these colorful buckets you see here can have thousands of fire ants living inside. In fact, they climb out and start attacking. So like in Taiwan, a lot of farmers get stings that's because of when they are uh, walking inside their farm. Right. So in the beginning, on the surface, it might, it might, it might not be well, you really see, they, they, they really, really just climb up. But it's fast enough already. Yeah, it's like two or three seconds. But if you yeah. are like attacking or stepping inside their nest, and they are really nervous and angry, in anger, you can see how fast this is. Whoa, okay. That's like less than five seconds will be all over your boots, like, or your shoes, right? That's crazy. You do not want to step. You you do not want to step on one of these things in the wild, for sure. To truly understand just how these ants have caused so much damage, I've decided to let a couple fire ants to sting my arm. All right, wish me luck. Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay. 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 Wait. 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 I'm. I'm good. I'm good. Let. Let. let, let, let let's see. It's uh, definitely stingy. Ooh. Okay. It's def Ooh. Definitely stings. It bites and then stings. Okay. It, it, one is okay, but if there's hundreds of these guys just climbing up your legs, they can definitely do some damage. Okay. Let's take it away. It stung me like three, four times. Mm -hmm. Those who have been stung by fire ants have described it as having their limb put in a ring of fire. With just a couple sting on my arm, I can already feel the burning sensation. Oh, see here, I'm a little bit red. See the white cut? That's where it. Then... So they stung through the gloves. That's right. Yeah. Wow. So we often That's do crazy. two gloves. Has there in, in, like been actual fatalities? caused by fire ants? I don't know the answer about Taiwan. Uh -huh. well, I know in, in, historically in the U.S., you know, a few people have died here. It's kind of like beastie. You get, it's mostly people who are really allergic to, um, to insect poison or something. Right. And so just like a beastie, you get too much of a shock. And then, uh, some people um, do. Well, do maybe events. you're allergic to the, the sting? That's right, yes. Right. Yes, yes. The far, fire ants have spread across the world, including Taiwan. And this is not only because of their painful stings. They have evolved another incredible power, the ability to survive floods. This ability that when there's lots of water coming, uh -huh. they kind of form this big ball. They bring in all their eggs and all, they, all their little babies. They put in the big ball and they're kind of in the middle. The queen's kind of in the middle. So they're really good at this. A lot of other ants with like, a lot of water will just drown. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, that's so cool. <laughs> That is so cool. That is, I would say, a million years of evolution, right? Yep. In action. Yep. Fire ants originated from the floodplains of South America, and they have evolved a really unique behavior to deal with the floods. When water comes, they will start interlocking their bodies to each other to form a floating device, almost like an emergency lifeboat. And they are able to flow on top of water because when they hold tightly to each other like this, they trap tiny little water bubbles between them, creating many air pockets, as well as help them to float and to breathe. Hey, now I'm back at home, and it's been about four days since I came back from visiting Dr. Wong, but check this out. You can see that it's still red and it's still itchy. And I was stung by maybe a couple of them in a control setting. Imagine if you accidentally step on their ant mounts and 50 of them climb up and sting you at the same time. They can really do some damage. And that's why I want to make this video today to record the progress of the sting to show how serious these animals are. On the second day is when it really gets itchy. And one of the stings turned into a posture. It makes you really want to scratch it, but you know you shouldn't. If you see a warning sign put up in the Fire Ant Bureau in the future, really stay away from them. 